I think the karma bus has arrived, and it is very different than I expected. For years ago, I was blindsided by my husband. I thought I was in this very rare perfect marriages that were built to last. He was my best friend, favorite person, and he still turned me on easily even 13 years later. He came out of nowhere saying he had been unhappy for years. He loved me but was not in love with me. The co-worker turned friend that had been plaguing my marriage of course had nothing to do with it. That was just coincidence, so he left me and moved his co-worker friend in almost immediately but that was all a coincidence because they fell in love while she helped him through his terrible divorce. Sure. I have been through hell and back. Losing the in-laws, who were like my own family. Seeing friends picking his side, because he was not a depressed mess, and fun to hang out with. Feeling so unwanted alone, and lost. Making new friends, focusing on my job, health. Taking trips with the light of my life, my doggo. Going into therapy, reading books, trying to let go. Dating again, getting my heart broken. Seeing how wounded I was, and how I was repeating some dynamics with other men. Finally settling for someone who loved me more than I would ever love him so I did not have to be scared to be abandoned. But miserable, a gray fine life. With a man who would never leave me, but also never treat me right. I did not come that far to only get that far. So I started over. Somewhat done with dating. Organizing myself to have a single existence. I was doing pretty awesome. But then I lost my best boy. Making me lose my rock, my confidence my home, but I had to go on make him proud. And then, then there was this man. Who just like me was a chump and after that wasted time on a fine relationship and now ready to be alone. He was on dating apps for the same reason I was. Who knows? Could have a good night? Good combo? For those who like the invisible string theory, this will make your day. We live and work outside each other's range. But I charged my car just inside his range every Friday. While I waited, I swiped. I did not swipe him. Nor would I ever have, he had looking for casual relationships, because he did not want to go to fast, but he wanted something serious. But one night my friend swiped for me, and she swiped him by accident. She did not tell me. We went on a date and hit it off right away. He is everything I ever wanted and more. He makes me happy and giddy and he scares the crap out of me, because caring means being able to be heard if he leaves me. While I am very scared to take this leap of faith. I just know I have to. We are planning trips. Meeting each other's friends and family and rocking each other's world. My ex is still with his mistress. Their relationship is nowhere near what me and my ex had. He treats her like a lesser person. He never did that to me, I would not take that. People gossip behind his back how he could lose someone like me for someone like her. His friends and family still tell me they miss me. Still tell me they don't get it. But here I am having the best sex of my life. The most intense conversations, being spoiled and treated like a queen, by a man I spoil and treat like a king, someone who embraced my chaos and weirdness as he finally has someone who embraces his. Someone who matches my energy. Who wants what I want. People keep saying that the best revenge is a life well lived and it really is. It will take all your strength and you need to do all the work. Forgive yourself the mistakes you made. Be fearless and do the hard things. Don't settle and keep loving yourself as hard as you can. I just wish my good boy was here to see it, he saw me through the worst of times, and I just wish I could show him this new chapter and let him be part of it. He did meet him as our third date we went for a walk with my doggo in a forest. He died the very next day. I like to think he was ready because he knew I would be in good hands. But I know he is proud of me taking a leap into the deep. Knowing that whatever happens, I will survive and thrive. Because it is me. I love you doggo.